here it is my nemesis the craftsman t225 riding lawnmower has a craftsman 540 cc 19 horsepower briggs and stratton motor 42 inch deck So I just had my biannual fight with the mower, and I think it's going to be more than two times this year. So I started off, I blew it all off, and put some fresh fuel in it, unhooked the fuel hose, took apart the carburetor bowl, verified that the float was free, because we all know that last year we had that stuck float issue, which caused a gas leak in my garage. So preemptively went through all that, and cycled through everything, checked the oil, all that stuff and it would not start cranked and cranked and cranked i blew out the air filter finally i got it started with some starting fluid so i know some of you commenters in the past that came over from the other channel have said that you knew what the issue was or knew a similar issue and recommended replacing the carburetor and something else so i'm trying to remember what that is so there it is and took off the bowl and the little switch here and nothing as I said I blew out the air filter and got it to crank and fire with starting fluid now I've already verified that it sparks we know it gets air these are simple motors so no electronics other than these couple of sensors and switches so it should be a fairly simple thing to diagnose air fuel spark what am I not getting? Very interesting thing though is I forget what this is right here, but when I disconnected this, it started running. Like immediately. It just ran. So I mowed a couple of acres and then it quit on me. I was able to get a couple of acres mowed and a couple of crucial walkways so we can at least walk through them without getting ticks. But I was all the way down to the very end of the tree line there. And then the mower, after running for a good half hour straight, just died on me. Couldn't get it started. So I started pushing it all the way up. Disconnected the transmission and just pushed it. Stopped her out there, about right there where you see all those uh, weeds are. Decided to give it a try again. Fired it up. So I drove it back up to the garage so we've actually been clearing out more trees so that means i'm going to have more space to actually mow this year so it's crucial i get this going if you see up behind me here a lot of this stuff is going to go so i can get up to my shed a little bit easier without walking through a million spider webs so that's the goal and then i'm going to have to clear out all this crap here and reform my steps but i can't it's just a little too steep for the mower here but I got to get up there and clear out all that stuff because I got to get all that mode. So I'm starting to look the, like the derelict of the neighborhood because I spend most of my time working and, you know, doing kind of fun stuff, you know, getting ready, getting prepared and uh, doing my thing. But the saga of the mower continues and needless to say, it's getting old.